Okay, so now we can go ahead and simplify that. So we're looking at 8x e to the negative x squared, and then this 4 times negative 2 is minus 8, and this would be x squared times x, which would be x cubed, e to the negative x squared, and then we have uh, negative 2 and negative 2, so that's plus 4, and then we bring the x out in front, and then we have e to the negative x squared. Okay, so that's our, that's our simplified version. So that's our simplified version. I think in this case, now that it's this complicated, it might be best to factor. So let's go ahead and factor out a uh, 4, oh, you know what? This 8x e to the x squared and this 4x e to the negative x squared, sorry, can be combined. Um, since, they're, since we've got a plus here, we're actually looking at um, 12x e to the negative x squared. And we add those two together. And then minus 8x cubed e to the negative x squared. So, if that's factored, let's go ahead now and um, simplify this a little bit. I'm still going to factor out a 4x e to the negative x squared, which would mean out here for this first term we're left with 3, and the second term we're left with uh, minus 2x squared and that's it. So that is our that's our derivative here. We'll do 4x e to the negative x squared times 3 minus 2x squared. Hopefully that will end up being simpler. Obviously uh, regardless of whether you decide to factor this out or not, um, when you take the derivative you should still get the same thing again. So now let's go ahead and take the derivative one more time. Uh, first we'll do, um, what we're going to have to do is, let's see, we've got f of x and we've got g of x for product rule, but then we'll have a larger product rule here and we'll call this a big f of x just so this is not super confusing. We'll call it capital F of x and capital G of x. So we will need to uh, first take the derivative. We'll, we'll first be looking at these capital F of x and capital G of x derivatives. So um, we're going to do, let's just write out our, our formula here. We'll do F prime, capital F prime of x times g of x plus uh, f, capital F of x, g prime of x. Okay, so this is going to be our formula. So we need the derivative of this uh, term here, the 4x e to the negative x squared. But in order to take that, we have to use product rule here. So the derivative of this 4x e to the x squared, let's go ahead and write uh, f prime of x, g of x, writing these out will help us keep this straight, f of x times g prime of x. Okay, so we need f prime of x, so the derivative of 4x is just 4, and then g of x is, uh, just leaving it alone, e to the negative x squared plus f of x leaving that alone, so that's 4x, times the derivative of e to the negative x squared here, which we know is just negative 2x e to the negative x squared. So that is uh, the derivative of, that's, that's f, capital F prime of x here, and then we're multiplying that whole thing by g of x. So we multiply this whole thing by 3 minus 2x squared. 
3 minus 2x squared. And then we're on to f of x, so we add to this plus, um, leaving this alone now, so 4x e to the negative x squared. And then we multiply that by the derivative of this 3 minus 2x squared, which is, uh, the derivative of 3 is just 0, it's a constant, it goes away, so we're actually only looking at negative 4x here, negative 4x. Okay, well that was a hefty derivative. We don't need these guys anymore. So now we just need to simplify this, which won't be an easy task either. So let's say that it's um, 4e to the negative x squared. And then since we have a positive 4 and a negative 2, we're looking at negative 8. And then x squared, these two x's multiplied together e to the negative x squared. That whole thing times 3 minus 2x squared. And then this will actually be minus because this will have, this is a plus and then we've got a negative here. So we're going to have minus 16x squared e to the negative x squared. Okay, so that was simplification step number one. Now, let's see how we can simplify this further. Let's go ahead and, and distribute uh, this across. So we'll have 3 times this first term out here. So we'll get 12e to the negative x squared, and then minus 24x squared e to the negative x squared. And then we're going to look at the 2x squared. So we'll have minus 8x squared e to the negative x squared. And then since we have a minus and a minus, we'll have a plus 16x to the 4 e to the negative x squared. And then at the very end here, minus 16x squared e to the negative x squared. Okay, hopefully I'm not making any small mistakes along the way. So now we should be able to combine some things. Looks like we can. We've actually got um, minus 24x squared e to the negative x squared. Um, which is the same term. We're looking for this x squared e to the negative x squared to match, and it does here. So we have minus 24, minus 8, and minus 16, all the same term. So I'm going to go ahead and combine those three, this one, this one, and this one. Um, I'll write this 16, 16 x to the 4 e to the negative x squared out in front because it's the highest exponent on the x here. Then we'll combine these since we've got an x squared. So minus 24 minus 8 is minus 32. Minus 16 is minus 48. x squared e to the negative x squared. And then we've got a plus 12e e to the negative x squared. So, looks like we could leave this if we wanted to, um, but I think we should go ahead and simplify. I'd like to pull out, uh, I'd like to pull out a 4 e to the negative x squared. So if we pull out 4 e to the negative x squared, then we're looking at times 4 x to the fourth minus 12 x squared and then plus 3, right? 4 x to the fourth minus 12 x squared plus 3. Oh good, I had done this ahead of time and that's what we got last time.